Ta-da! For this three minute rules, we will be looking at the shooting phase, and in particular, the rules for roll to hit. All of this can be found on page 40 of the large 8th edition rulebook. Once you have selected your unit to fire and you have made sure that it is possible for this unit to fire, you may now roll a d6 for each shot fired. In this case, we have two ranks of the Empire Archers for a total of 10 shots. Of course, not all shots have the same chance of hitting. Some warriors are simply better at aiming than others, as reflected in a higher ballistic skill. So what we need to do now is to pull up the characteristic profile for the Empire Archers. And when we do that, we see that the ballistic skill of the Archers is a 3. In order to determine whether or not we will hit, we will need to pull up the shooting chart in which we find the ballistic skill for the Empire Archer, in this case a 3, and we find the to hit score which corresponds with that, which in this case is a 4. Assuming all things being equal and there are no shooting modifiers in this shooting attack, we may now roll our 10 dice, needing 4s now to hit on the uh, High Elf Silver Helm. So rolling out 10 dice. Four fives and sixes are now hit, so we have an impressive seven hits on the High Elf Silver Helms. Rolling to hit now is only the first step, and we will also need to roll to wound, which we will cover in a later three minute rules. Certain troops or individual models have a high ballistic skill, and therefore they have a to hit score of one, zero, or even a negative number, if you remember from the chart above. Of course, you cannot roll less than a 1 on a d6, so in Warhammer, a to hit roll of a 1 on a d6 always fails, regardless of the dice modifiers and ballistic skill of the model. And with that, we come to the conclusion of this 3 minute rules on the shooting phase, and in particular the rules for roll to hit. Thank you for joining us today at Grey Army Gaming, where Grey can always play.